Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary Margaret and today I am filming a very big unboxing video with Cotton On. This is not sponsored at all. I'm not required to post this, but I'm just super excited about all the pieces that they sent over. It's a ton of good spring and summer items. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I got. I honestly kind of forgot what I picked out. So this will be pretty fun. It'll kind of be a surprise for both of us. Um, so without further ado, let's hop right into it. I am going to try and link everything that I mentioned for you guys in the description. Um, and if you're new to YouTube, like when I first started watching, I never really knew like where to find the links. Like they would say in the description and I would just see like a little snippet. So you have to click like view more or expand or read more. Um, and all the links will be down there, but let's just hop right into it. I am so excited. Everything is so colorful. Usually I'm a big neutrals girl, which most of you guys probably know if you've been following me for a while. But for spring and summer, I definitely stepped out of my comfort zone and got lots of colorful pieces. I am just grabbing the first thing that I see. Okay. Oh yes, wait, I think I remember ordering this. This is so stinking cute. This is called the Cold Shoulder Texture Short Sleeve Knit in the color orange. So this is what it looks like. Here, let me move the box out of the way so I can show you guys. It's a little crop top. I am loving this color right now. I don't know what it is. I just ordered a Amazon workout set in orange and I love it. I think it's because now that it's summer, I have more sun, so I'm a little tan and I feel like orange looks really good on tan skin. So I am super excited to wear this little top. Okay, next up, we have a pair of denim jean shorts. I feel like everyone usually struggles with jean shorts in the summer. So I am happy to test these out for you guys. I have a pair that I really love and I wear probably the most they're a little bit longer. I love that that's a trend right now because wearing short shorts can be so uncomfortable sometimes. So I love that the longer shorts trend is a thing and these are like the perfect length, I feel like. I ordered these in a US 4 because I didn't really want the waist to be too tight, but these are super cute. It's like a medium wash and there is distressing on the bottom, which I love. I'm filling the little try-on portion right now and I will say definitely stay true to size. Um, these shorts I did in a US 4, but I do think I could have done a 2 just because they're almost like too oversized, if you know what I mean. Um, they're definitely like comfy to just throw on over, the, over a bathing suit if you're headed to the beach. So if you like this look, then size up. But otherwise, I would probably stay true to size um, because like, if you can see in the back, there's just a lot of extra room. So um, I do have those buttons though, where you can like put a button, button over there and like make it tighter without having to get anything done. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys what these looked like on. Okay, next up, this actually looks like the same top as that first orange one. Yes. So I got that same top, but in yellow. Again, this color looks so good on tan skin in the summer and these colors just make me so happy like i automatically think summer springtime florals when i see like bright fun colors so i am so excited to pair those for my next vacation next up oh my gosh i think i need to take my hair down for this one this is a cute crochet bucket hat which i wear bucket hats all the time at the beach i have a plain um, just like a nude version of this hat. So when I saw the cute colors, I was like, yep, I need it. And what's nice is that edges of these usually have some form of a wire. So you can kind of like curl it up and it'll stay in its form without being like too floppy. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for this one. Next up, this looks like another crop top. This is such a good staple piece because of this neutral color. So even once it gets into a different season, I could definitely still wear this and use it as a layering piece with like 
a cardigan, a button up or whatever. So I really, really love this. Again, a super good knit material. It kind of has like a crochet style on the back, which I love. And yeah, just super comfy. <laughs> Just super comfy and easy to throw on with jean shorts, skirt, jeans, whatever. Very cute and casual. All right, next up. Okay, I think I remember selecting these. Yes, okay, y'all. This is very outside of my comfort zone. I don't typically go for things like, the, like this. Um, these are cargo style pants. So as you can see, they have like the pockets on the sides and they're a little bit baggier than your typical jean. But I think why I like this is because it still has a good structure at the waist. So it cinches you in and then it's a little bit baggier as it goes down. Um, I'm going to try and film a try on as well. So um, I'll be integrating clips of try ons with all these items in between me talking so that you guys can see how everything fits. But I'm very excited to like style these and just play around with it because this isn't my typical style. I feel like this is more considered street style. Um, so yeah, and I got these again in a US 4. Okay, kind of the same deal with these cargo pants. I'm actually very, very shocked. Like I really love the way that they look and this style, which I wasn't expecting to love as much as I do but um, they are on the bigger side, which kind of stinks. Um, so they don't really stay up on my waist a whole lot, but if you are into the low rise style, which I haven't really like tried wearing just because I'm very, like I like high waisted things, but um, if low rise is your thing, you could definitely maybe get them oversized and then wear them lower on your hips. But if I were to actually style these, I would probably want them to be high-waisted so that it still gives me some structure. Um, but overall, I really love these and the like texture of them. They're almost like a, I don't know how to describe this texture. It's kind of rough, um, but super cute for spring. And I even like this combo of the top with the pants, like a cute little girly crop top and then oversized like, more masculine pants. I don't know, I feel like it's like a fun little mix on the two. Next up is this super cute tote bag. I love tote bags. They're perfect to bring to the beach and just throw in like your beach towel, tanning oil, snacks. Um, and this one is seriously huge. Um, so you could fit a lot in here. And yeah, you can never have enough tote bags. They're also really good for travel. It says the Sun Club and it's a super cute like pink purple color with orange writing. Next up, we have this little thing. What is this? Oh, cute. This is a bathing suit sarong. So it has cute little like tassels at the bottom and you just tie it around your waist like so. Again, super cute for a vacation and I'll do a try on so that you guys can see what it looks like. Getting into some fun stuff. I see bikinis in here now. I've been seeing this bathing suit all over my Instagram recently from other girls who have been working with them and I've been obsessed with it. So when I saw it on their website, I was like, I need to get that. Um, so this is the first bathing suit that I got. It is a floral pattern. It's like pink, orange, and green. And I did this top in a size small. And I was a little bit worried because I typically go for mediums and bathing suit tops, but this cup size looks honestly really big for a small. So I feel like I'm going to feel super comfortable in this. And it also has adjustable straps, which is really nice when it comes to swimsuits. And here are the matching bottoms. I went with like a high leg slash high-waisted style. Um, so they come up a little bit higher on your hips. And I would say this is like medium to cheeky coverage depending on what you're comfortable with. And the bottom I also did a size small in as well. Okay, another quick intermission for this bathing suit. I just wanted to talk a little bit more about it now that it's on. Um, I would definitely, this is my first time trying cotton on swim. So these are my like first opinions on it. And I definitely like the styles, the materials nice, it's double lined. 
Um, but I will say, I think it might run a little bit big, at least this style. In the back, there's almost like a little bit of like extra room. So I would either stay true to size or even maybe size down. Again, this top, I usually do mediums and bathing suit tops and I stuck with a small and I have plenty of room. So if you are bigger chested, I feel like this is a really good style top with the underwire, it gives you support and there is a ton of space. So you're not gonna feel super uncomfortable um, when you're wearing it, but overall really love this pattern. Next up, I got another swimsuit. So this is just more of a classic string styled bikini. Um, I feel like these are perfect for tanning and this one actually does come with padding that is removable whereas this one does not. It's just a double lined material. So if you have a preference for padding, it's just something to take note of. So super cute. This one is just like a string triangle bikini and you can wear it like the classic style or what I've been seeing a lot recently is like if you put it on technically backwards, um, you can kind of wear it as a halter style and then the scrunchy part is at the top. So it's almost like a two-in-one if you just want to style your bathing suit top a different way. But I did this top again in a size small and I did the bottoms in a small as well. And these are just classic string style bikini bottoms. And it's actually like a good crinkle material, which that's like a trend right now, crinkle bathing suits. Those are some of my favorites. But um, I typically stray away from string bathing suits, but I do like this because it's adjustable. So like if I wanted it super cheeky, I could stretch it all the way in like that, or you can get full coverage out of it by expanding it. And again, I would say this is like medium to cheeky coverage. And last up, I have a hot pink button down shirt, which I absolutely love this color. Something about bright colors for spring and summer. I'm sure everyone typically tends to be drawn to color for the spring season, but I love this. I got this in a size small because I'm pretty sure it was labeled as oversized. Um, Actually, it just is called the Swing Beach Shirt in Aurora Pink. Um, it's 100% organic cotton, but it looks and feels like a linen material, which is super nice for the summer. So this is what it looks like. It's just your classic button down. Um, I'll probably use this as a bathing suit cover up, but I also style button downs. Like if I had a basic white tank and jeans on, I would throw this on if we're eating like dinner by the water and it's gonna get chilly once the sun goes down. Um, so there's a bunch of different ways that you can style this. All right, I think that was everything. If you watched this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and would love if you subscribed, liked this video or left a comment on your favorite piece that I got. Um, I love interacting with you guys. And if you're not following me on Instagram or TikTok, make sure to go and follow me over there. I'm way more active on those platforms and my username is at Mary Margaret Bood. I'll have it somewhere right here on the screen so that you guys can go and give it a follow. But yeah, thank you so much and I will see you in my next video.